so much to look forward to this season. We have an incredible team of, of talented individuals who make up our crew. Hair and makeup, wardrobe, like everybody is so incredibly talented and thoughtful about what they do. It's pretty beautiful. The costumes in the first season, I really tried to create our own world that was Euphoria, but also being grounded in some kind of reality so that people weren't pulled out of the story. It was that much more exciting to get into second season and push it further and get deeper with the characters. Two mark, two and action. I would always find myself excited to see what Heidi would come up with that day. I'd be sitting there going, oh, I can't wait to see what these outfits look like. And she never, ever lets you down. Working with Sam has been one of the greatest gifts in my career because he's so trusting. He really just lets me do my thing, you know, even writes into the script, like, Heidi, do your thing. The process can be different depending on if I'm building the costume or if it's something I'm sourcing, but usually it starts with silhouette and color. Last season was like a lot more colorful, a lot more like blues and purples and that kind of thing. And I think this season like is all black and gold and like dealing with dark darks and the bright brights. This season we worked with several designers. We worked with Marc Jacobs for Maddie. Jeremy Scott, Moschino for Cassie Looks. So many designers were generous and, and sent for fittings. Um, a lot of what we did this season, though, was build costumes. Hey, hey, hey. It's not every day I'm given an opportunity to do period, and I love doing period. I mean, that's when you really get to, like, build costumes. Profesco's grandma, we knew right from the start that we wanted to create those costumes rather than source something that existed in the world. I took a lot of references from sort of Grand Ole Opry sort of suits that were popular in the 70s. So she's wearing this like bright blue suit. And instead of doing like studs or multicolor embroidery, I chose to do tone on tone. So we use like blue metallic thread on a blue suit. So it's more subtle and not as flashy as all of the rhinestone suits that I was originally inspired by. It's just the idea of being able to glean from like as many different references as possible and then have it sift through this one idea for the character, the rules that I create for the character, and then hopefully it becomes something new that you know people feel like they haven't seen before. With Rue's look this season, I didn't want to do any bright colors, of fashionable, trendy looks for her because of the seriousness of what Rue is going through. Even if I'm wearing an outfit that seems like it's just a t-shirt and some pants, there's a thought behind the colors and why she's wearing it and what she's layering it with. Everything is done with such intention. It was important to not do the like, you know, bright Hawaiian shirts and the little cropped striped tanks and to have a more somber approach to her costume. Sydney's so fun to dress. I think she definitely had the most changes this season. She starts out, you know, sort of in a depressed place because of what's going on with Nate. Why are you awake at 4 a.m.? Why are you awake at 4 a.m.? So we see her go through this series of looks where she's frantically trying to get his attention. We got to play with so many really cool looks because I was all these other characters that I thought Nate wanted. And then I got to lean into Maddie's look. Hey. Wait, why? Oh, uh, did my classes this time? She looked really good. I think Maddie seeing Cassie, it's kind of funny to her at that point. We tried to find these moments that, like, even if that specifically wasn't written into the script, it was like, what can we do to, like, lean into the comedy? I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. Probably the biggest uh, departure from what we saw first season is how vamp we went with Alexa Demi's character, Maddie. 
she definitely moved away from like baby pinks and purple and is wearing a lot more black, which was fun. And then for Maddie's birthday, we knew we wanted to use something by Marc Jacobs. I think that particular dress was designed with a friend of Alexa's with Marc. I've always been a fan of black with like hot colors or light colors. And it has the little M's here, which is for Marc, but also works for Maddie. Heidi is always so collaborative. We built my New Year's Eve look. I went fabric shopping. And we built my dream closet. When we first started working on the mansion closet scene, there was the idea that I could pull from the best runway designers out there and that I could pull like the most current looks of the season and that we could like have some really heavy hitters in there. And then I started to think that, you know, by the time the show comes out, like those, there will be new collections out. So I chose to build the whole closet out with vintage. Oh, that was so fun. Like walking in and being able to try on all those gowns was definitely a highlight. My friend, Bryn, actually came in and helped us set design with all of her clothing because she just has the most beautiful clothing. She owns a Raw de Vintage, so she came in and brought a bunch of stuff from her shop and then she brought in her own personal stuff. She was so helpful and just brought in like the most amazing rare vintage gowns. We came up with this backstory that Samantha, she's a vintage collector. When Maddie tries on the different looks, we could have such a varied range of fashion in the closet and it still be believable that like one woman could own these pieces. <laughs> Hunter's character, Jules, is also moving um, a bit darker. I think we've seen Jules move from this like hyper feminine baby doll aesthetic to something slightly in between by the end of season one and then where we're picking up with her in season two is, is something like more androgynous. And I think it's as she sort of released this need to like appease men and to honor like how she feels on the inside which I still think is pretty feminine, but the form that that femininity takes uh, feels more authentic. One of my all-time favorites from season two would be Jules's New Year's Eve party look. It was definitely a collaboration with Hunter. I feel like it really embodies her spirit. It's, you know, leaning into like a more serious, darker jewels, but there's an ethereal quality to it. We definitely took a little a bit and, and did something new. So I'm excited to see how that will take with fans. And just to see people like identifying with these characters and using the aesthetics to play with or dressing up is really special that we could be a part of that. To be back with the Euphoria family and to be a part of second season, it's just been one of the best experiences of my career.